time to send it over to John Elliott. This is one of our favorite times of the morning. It's time to check in with those weather watchers and see what those folks are up and out doing. Thank because you. we have some pictures from yesterday, but also they always remind me of uh, important days that are uh, fun and important to celebrate. So, the, I mean, these are nice numbers for our weather watchers north and west. We're in the low 40s and low 50s, low 50s as well. A little cooler for the Jersey Shore interior sections. But again, going to be a nice day to uh, maybe head to the library briefly. And then get outside and read that book as we have Library Week underway. Thanks for reminding me of that. Just beautiful shots of the eclipse. I appreciate Bob Leschek's. This is his shot of the eclipse. Um, uh, something to uh, chew on there. Hey, and thank you, Les. Uh, this is former Prisoner of War Recognition Day because on this day in 1942, U.S. forces suffered the greatest uh, loss as far as prisoners taken in battle. This was in the Pacific Theater. So if you see that flag, it means something. So uh, thanks for reminding me of that, Les. Now, the other thing I want to remind you about, and some of the weather watchers lamenting this, wow, we pollen is way up there because now grass pollen is kind of filling in. Tree will settle down, grass will take over. You just don't get a break. Ragweed is low. Weed and mold also moderate. Now, we are going to see some rain over the next few days, so that does help. That helps to tap things down, but the season is underway, so make sure that you are ready for it. I want to dive ahead and just jump into the European model, that long-range model, to give you kind of a more of a taste of the next few days. Today's great. Enjoy it. Hope you can make some plans. By this time tomorrow morning, some passing showers. Tomorrow is not a washout, but watch what happens progressively over the next few days. Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, showers in the area. Off to work, coming home, you're going to be dealing with a little bit of wiper action. Thursday almost sets up to be a repeat, but we'll see more coverage Thursday. Thursday morning, a shower. Thursday afternoon and Thursday night, better chance for some heavier rain. Sorry about that. And you've got to remember, we have these coastal flood advisories right through the middle part of the week, so we're mindful of that. But by the time you see Friday morning, Friday morning probably our best bet to see more uniform, moderate to heavy rain. It's not all day, but Friday morning, if that's a key time, a flight, an appointment, or something that's really time sensitive, start thinking now, how can you back time it so you factor an extra time for the trip. We see some breaks, but by Friday night, we're in better shape. Saturday morning starts to shape up. For the most part, the weekend is okay. It will not be as cold as it was last weekend. European model that wants to bring in some moisture Sunday night. So if that's a travel period when you're coming back from the island or from up north, that could be an issue as well. Today, let's make some plans to do some traveling. Taste of June, delightful, feels good, looks good. Next few days, changes from the 70s, not to the 60s, to the 50s Wednesday. A real pronounced drop. And then Thursday, periods of rain, early chance Friday. Uh, weekend, breezy Saturday, not as windy as last Saturday. I know that was a drag. It was really cold last Saturday and then Sunday shower possible by Sunday night. Next time we chat, we'll just crank up the uh, potential totals. This does not look like it's going to be a repeat of last week with three inch totals. It's a little lower. Good. We need that. Yeah, we Thank do. You, John. Appreciate it.